sick thinking is no thinking. You speak of the mental nature of disease rather skeptically. Well, there was a time when characterizing disease as mental gave people a leverage for overthrowing the arch enemy, because up till then, disease had been regarded almost altogether as physical, and unquestionably a stubborn reality. To style disease as mental was to reduce its formidability. Now we are beginning to see that it will not do to admit that disease is mental, even that it is an obsession, because this would imply that there is a mind back of the thing when there is not. Why can we be so bold as to talk this way? Because there is only one mind in all the universe, the mind we call God. Mind, then, cannot conceive disease, cannot construct it, cannot project it into your experience. Nor is there any mind to feel or experience disease. You have none, for the one and only mind, the mind you have, is of clearer vision than to behold corruption, Right here it is well to note that there is only one kind of thinking, and that kind is good. Any supposed thinking to the contrary is equivalent to no thinking. Do not, then, be so afraid of the consequences of fear, or of anger, or of other unseemly emotions. Of course it is not well to indulge these tremors, Yet everybody does indulge them on occasion. The point is that not one of them, or all combined, has the power to cause disease or to end existence. Hold thought unwaveringly to these truths as you suppress agitation. They will endue you with power from on high to overcome that fear of fear. You can, bit by bit. Its consequences have been tremendously overstated. One might be in better business than getting scared, as you say. Nevertheless, the scare cannot put Charlie out of existence or even make him ill. Fears and alarms are specters. This is why they cannot do anything to you or me. Remember the psalmist's assurance, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, The Lord shall have them in derision. Mistaken beliefs are as futile as fears. They cannot change the fact that you are perpetually well and at peace. Belief in heredity, as you know, is nonsense. You came directly from the Almighty, the exhaustless reservoir of life perennial, not through any human parentage. In fact, you have not even come from Him. You are still with Him. And better yet, He is still with you. Hence your complete safety and your assurance of years of tranquil and useful existence. I would write more along these lines were it not for the fact that you are fully convinced already that all is well.